Kierkegaard's leap of faith. You've probably heard about it before, but what is it? So Kierkegaard never explicitly calls it a leap of faith himself, but that's what it's come to be known as. Um, so it's this paradox which he first introduced in uh, Fear and Trembling. So in Fear and Trembling, Kierkegaard focuses quite a bit on the biblical story of Abraham and Isaac, uh, where God commanded Abraham to kill Isaac, his son. Uh, Kierkegaard writes how this action is completely outside um, the realm of common morality. When Abraham chooses to obey God's command, he does not understand nor is he able to justify his decision to do it. Abraham is completely surrendering to God's will. So this is the leap of faith. For Kierkegaard, in order to enter into the religious sphere of existence, you must take this leap. It's a leap of faith because there are no rational grounds for religious belief. No rational grounds for you to make the jump. The act of having faith is a paradox in and of itself and requires this leap.